The Extremist Rule in Justice League of America Issue 2. Having taken Ryan hostage, Lord Havoc settles into a rather classic villain monologue about respect. Batman surrenders his utility belt in return for the young hero, and he tries to convince Lord Havoc to allow them to help him help the Earth, as he is saying. Something his team members don't really realise Batman is doing. Before anything can happen, Dr. Diehard attacks Havoc, saying they came to this Earth to protect and rule, not to make deals with weaklings like Batman. As Diehard begins his own villainous speech, Havoc cleaves him in two with his axe. Teleporting his team away, Havoc leaves the battlefield for his home on this world, a nation called Kravia. Quickly, Havoc asserts his rule on the country as Batman, Adam, and Lobo return to the sanctuary to track the extremists, while the other JLA members help out in Saratoga. In Kravia, the extremists have taken over the country very easily, installing themselves as the rightful rulers. The JLA arrive and attack Deathbat, one of the extremists, but as they game a leg up, the Kravian army arrive, saying that Deathbat is now a citizen of Kravia and attacking him is an act of war. Meeting up with the resistance against Havoc's rule, they formulate a plan to stop him and his men. JLA2 saw this new team finally actually become a team and put their differences aside and actually work as one. I guess crazy multiversal dictators have a way of bringing everyone together. Again, we spent a lot of time with the extremists and Lord Havoc and a little bit more about their backstory and about their world and the heroes that actually inhabit the world. Well, quote unquote heroes. Uh, so I like what they're doing with this, sort of building up this guy and I'm wondering if maybe like after he's done with the Ark and here, whether he'll actually be sticking around as like a, a mainstay Earth Prime villain or whether he'll go back to his Earth or something. I'm not really too sure what they have planned for it. I am liking though the whole team dynamic the JLA have and they're as I said before, working together and everything, and I like that they work together in little groups as well. Like they each sort of have a partner, if that makes sense to anyone. They that they sort of stick with and do like combo moves with and everything and s sort of stuff like that. And I'm really interested to see what they're going to be doing with that. And I know like obviously Lobo is sort of the shit stirrer of the group, so I hope he keeps continuing to stir the pot and sort of break down the team a little bit every time they get built back up. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.